Okay guys, so today is a little tip on how to introduce feeder insects to your leopard gecko and a tip that's worked for me um, that I've sort of developed through getting roaches. Quick backstory, I was told to get roaches because apparently geckos go crazy for them. I, as you could, if you've seen my other videos you'll know I bought a colony and roaches aren't that cheap so I just thought you know what I'll buy this colony, I'll breed them, they're like the roaches, it'll be fine, I was very optimistic. I fed them all and Diego ate one, Ziggy ate one and Minnie and Gizmo did not even bother with them. After both geckos ate one each they just weren't interested in anymore anyway. So I was really disappointed and I thought oh my goodness I have so many roaches and my geckos aren't interested. So I decided not to feed them all at the same time. I thought you know what I'm going to focus on each one sort of develop their interest in this food and I thought to myself when I feed waxworms I only give them about two or three and they get them every two or three weeks so they're left wanting more they really like these and of course roaches and waxworms are very different but it's leaving them wanting more so after the first feeding I left them a week and I thought okay I'm going to try Diego and I'm going to give him one and he ate one I thought that's perfect and I gave him another one and he ate that one I was like brilliant he could have probably had more if I would allowed him but I was like no you know what he's at two I'm happy with that I'm not going to push it now obviously between feeds they do get crickets as well so I'm not starving him but I left it a week and I tried again he ate two perfect another week and I pushed it to about three and he ate three the following week I decided I'm going to try five and he ate all five really quickly and I thought oh my goodness that's perfect and then the next feeding I gave him eight or ten I think that's the feeding you're seeing now. So really that's my tip is treat these like they are something special like a treat like you'll leave your gecko wanting more. Obviously as I said feed them the main food that they're usually having so if you've always fed them mealworms and you want to introduce crickets, keep those mealworms there, keep them feeding that because you don't want to starve your gecko, but just gradually introduce them. You know what, you might have a thing where your geckos would totally have the food, no problem, and you won't need this tip, but if it helps some people then that's good enough for me. Something to keep in mind is the hunting style of your gecko. So for example, my geckos will always chase crickets and if you put food in a bowl for them, they're not interested. I know the bowl I used here that I got is a hamster bowl and it was probably too big, but I did try a bowl that I didn't film. It was just a critter bowl, quite shallow. Once again, they weren't interested. So you have got to think what your gecko's used to, whether it likes to chase its food or it likes to eat it out of a bowl. But anyway, I hope this video has been helpful. Thank you very much for watching.